thank you for joining me again for another Georgie vlog. This is Georgie vlog 10. I'll put a playlist if you want to see all the Georgie vlogs from the time that we traveled up to Nebraska to Flatlander Kennels to get her from Chris Jobman and his crew up there and through now she's 14 months old. We are about two months out from her first ever hunt. And so today I've got a bunch of frozen birds scattered around the property and Georgie's job is gonna to be to find those. So I've been working on casting, blinds, all that stuff. So hopefully I can send her out and direct her and she can find these things. I'm gonna show you that in just a second. Um, a couple things I wanna tell you. I have hats for like the first time in about three years. I've got hats, I've got this one, and I also have a camouflage hat. You can find those at theflywayscollective.com and you can pick yourself up an FDH hat if you wanna support me and the things that I'm doing to get yourself a hat. The other thing is if you've ever thought about keeping track of your hunt data, logging your hunts, keeping track of the weather, keeping track of the birds that you harvested, I have a site developed called Freelance Hunt Stats. And for a limited time, if you go over to patreon.com, which is a fan funding site where I keep a bunch of extra content, if you want to join up over there for three bucks a month, you will also get the Freelance Hunt Stats full membership as well. So it's a limited time two for one special. So go over to patreon.com slash freelance duck hunting, get signed up for that. I will personally contact you and we will get you a full membership at Freelance Hunt Stats. So, um, really? She is hyped up, sit. She is hyped up, I'll tell you. She knows when she knows when she gets this collar on, we are ready to roll. So we're gonna go ahead and run around the property and we're gonna see if she can find these birds. Let's go. So this first one, I've got a frozen pigeon straight, basically straight out. So she's just got to keep going into the thick cover and that's right where it is. So here we go. Heel, sit. Give her back, back. Nope. Back. Back. At this moment, she went back into the brush and I'd kind of lost track of her. So I start calling her back here and she shows up with the goose wing in her mouth. Here. The goose wing was actually much yeah. farther off to the right. It's the one I was planning on doing for the second retrieve. So I was a little confused how to handle Good that. Good girl. Fetch it. Sit. Now, sit. She actually found bird number two. She did not find the first one. So I'm going to go ahead and... I guess I'm going to go ahead and send her again because she actually found the second one, which was much farther to the right, and she missed the first one. So let's go ahead. Let's try it again. Back. Back. No, here, 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 sit, heel, 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 We're back, back. So on this one, the bird is clear over to the left in the weeds over there. So I'm going to center out straight and then hopefully left cast her over into the weeds, into the weeds there. Heel, heel, heel. Never back, back. Good girl. Sit. And now I need some help from you guys here. If you saw in that one, she actually sat and looked at me without whistling. Give me some feedback on that. She's been doing that a little bit to where if she doesn't know where it is, 
she stops and she looks at me without me hitting the whistle and I'm a, I'm a, my gut feeling is that's probably bad. Um, so give me some feedback on that. Um, is that something I should try to break? What should I try to do to break that? Anyway, so we got two more. Let's go to the fourth and fifth one. So uh, I know that her lines aren't very good right now. What I mean by that is when I send her out, she's supposed to go in a direct straight line until I tell her to do so differently. And I know I need work to work with her on that. So this is a learning process really for me more than it is for her. I've never ever trained a dog to whistle commands and casting before. So it's really more of a learning curve for me than it is for her. I know she'll do whatever I teach her to do. It's just my limitations are her limitations. So I know I need to work on, on that and hopefully I can do a better job of getting her shored up on that. All right, here. so this one, the bird is clear to the right, kind of by the truck and the grass. So I'm gonna send her out on a straight line and then sit her over and see if I can cast her over to the right to find that one. Here, heel, heel, heel. Sit. Get her back, back! You can't tell here Over. that she actually went the complete opposite direction to where I was trying to send her, so I had to do it a second Over. time. Over! Good girl! Good girl! Good girl! Good dog! Sit. And good dog! Good dog! Alright, we got one more. The so then we're going to go out here and it's just gonna be really more of a dead bird drill. So I'm just gonna, the word I use is find it. I know a lot of people use the word dead bird. I use find it, that's what I like to use. So we're gonna, this is basically more just of a find it drill for. Here, heel, heel. Back, back. Find it, find it, find it, find it. Find it. Find it. Find it. Good dog. Good dog. Good girl. Heel. And good girl. Georgie. So there you go. That's where she's at right now. Um, I'm happy with where she's at right now. I know that there's lots of things I'm sure I could do to get her to clean up some things. But like I said, my limitations as a trainer is the only thing that's gonna hold this dog back. So my goal is to continue to get better at myself. From the last video, Georgie vlog number nine, I had so many great, helpful comments from people. And the number one comment that I got that I'm really using is I'm no longer saying hold it. I could tell on those videos that I was just barking out way too many commands. Hold it here, sit, hold it here. And I was, my body language was a little bit more anxious. So if you watch, I've tried to control my body language a little bit more, make it a little bit more relaxed. So anyway, thank you guys for joining me today. Remember, if you want one of these, flywaystcollective.com. There's old is. Fly with the flywaystcollective.com. If you want one of these, if you want to start journaling your hunts and start seeing a ton of extra cool FDH content that only my patrons have seen, patreon.com slash freelance duck hunting. You can get that two for one two for the price of one. Until next time, guys, thanks a lot.